Welcome to the Bring Me to Life podcast. It's time to wake up and shine on. Hello, hello. Welcome to the Bring Me to Life podcast. We're always grateful that you're listening, that you're tuning in. Definitely. Checking stuff out. Checking it out. It's been really fun kind of going back and listening to these episodes. And you, could tef- you can definitely tell there's been, you know, a big growth. I think it would be hilarious for everybody who's been listening to our newer episodes to go back and listen to the very first season. Mm-hmm. You know, the ver- the first 40, 50 episodes. Yeah, it's been quite a quite an adventure. And even just listening to some of the episodes from the beginning of this season in the last couple of months where we've been recording and all the shifts that's been happening, depending on when you're listening to this episode, if you're listening to them in our, our big burst of release here on season six unfiltered or um, later on, we, we highly suggest definitely going back to the beginning of season six and checking out all of those 22 episodes. Those are some great mm-hmm. episodes we're releasing mm-hmm. right now. Mm-hmm. Um, it's it's kind of funny because the f- very first few episodes, well, for a while, our, all of our episodes were interviews. And now we're we're getting to tell our stories mm-hmm. and people getting to know us. So it's been kind of a Benjamin Button type deal. Yeah, going back and forth and... People seem to want to know about our story now. We've been asking everybody else, like, what brings them to life for yeah. so long. Uh, our last, like, tour of adventures these last couple summers have really shown how important it is for us to share our story. We've been doing it a lot through our live events, our sound healings, our spiritual groups. You've been going steady with your your Tuesday meetings of live, live meditations in yeah. person. I just recently did one on my birthday it was so cute it was on abundance you had an abundance of people yeah i had an abundance of people and it was a great meditation multiple people said they loved it and it was sweet it was just cool to see a community of people there all you know just accepting this decision to to start living their more their their true abundance Yeah, I love seeing people come out and show up and just be there for themselves and even just reaching out and sharing what it is that lights them up. We we are interested in knowing, again, like what topics you guys are interested in hearing about, uh, if anything has inspired you or if you want to hear meditations or conversations on specific topics. Uh, We've been still interviewing people. I've been working on interviewing some females for Awakening with the Girls. That's a, yeah. a project that I've been working on. It's like a spin-off. Yeah, we have, have lots of different spin-offs. It's been exciting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm excited because as we release the twenty two and some of them will be Patreon exclusive. Patreon. We're really excited about our Patreon. We've been working on figuring out how to really get this out there for you guys and to offer some special extras you know like things that we want our community to have access to easily but not necessarily just blast out there all over our facebooks and everything something Mm -hmm. for those vip listeners yeah i think the the topics that a lot of people want to hear but you know is is touchy subjects we want to we want to make that a not even a lot just a tiny You had to access it through a little $1 a month, which if you think about it, it's less than the price of a meal. Most places you go out for the whole year. Definitely. Which will include like, so we're going to release exclusive episodes of the podcast on there. We're going to have specific videos and a lot of a lot of really um, exclusive things. I keep using that word, um, and I don't want anybody to feel like we're we're telling people they can't do this. We're just making sure that we're releasing a, a lot. We've been releasing a lot. We've always released a lot for free, but there are some things that we at least want to make sure people honor and value these kinds of things. Definitely. I think what's exciting about the Patreon is that it is 
for supporters. Patreon is a basically like a crowdfunding or a supporter network that you can choose artists or uh, projects. They, there's a lot of different different activities and nonprofits and things I think that use Patreon. I know lots of podcasts, yeah. lots of musicians, lots of artists. Mm-hmm. It's a way to show that the creative opportunity is still out there so if you enjoy the content that we put out it it helps us realize who the real listeners are and it also protects us there's there's topics that we're excited to discuss um that we just feel like we want to share with people that care about our message it's not necessarily Mm -hmm. stuff we just want to throw out there on youtube or put all over the everywhere we want people that care about these topics to be able to check in, tune in with us, and have special conversations. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. And there's a lot we want to do with this network and with this community and with patrons on Patreon that allows us to do it. So we'll be able to do 24 hour broadcasting with music. We'll be able to do more with our network we'll be able to create more programs create a community center a studio there's so there's so many things that we are going to do because of people like you listening yeah it's been so beautiful to see the amount of support and the amount of people that want and awakened content positive content some place to go and get things that can wake them up give them something exciting to talk about to their friends uh, meditations to help inspire their day uh, workshops and understandings of just areas that they've been so curious about like crystals and reiki and different things like that we've Mm -hmm. been doing so much with bring me to life we have the shine online fest the different years and things like that so the patreon is a way now for us to again Just connect and offer more. We're going to be doing live readings, card readings. Celo is going to be doing a sound healing for everyone. People have been asking, like, how can we connect with you and do ceremonies and activities through the Internet in a different way? And I think that using our Patreon is going to be a way that we can really offer these exclusives to you guys and everyone gets an even energy exchange. And it gives you one place where to find it, too. So we have our new website in on bringmetolife.com you can easily find patreon and check out what we're talking about it's where our extra exclusive our offers are and it's if you go on a, a desktop it's at the very top of the page it says patreon right at the very very top header if you go from mobile if you drop down our little menu in the corner it's one of the the very easy to see tabs it says patreons and when you click it it just it, you can see where it's featured articles things that we we wanted to be kind of extra uh highlighted news and then again we've got our our exclusive podcast there's been a couple and there's just maybe things that aren't necessarily full length or discussions that again we just want our inside tribe to be able to to connect with this on we we put ourselves out there a lot in mm. some of the stories we share Like I said, again, it's not just something I want to put out there on YouTube. I want it to be people that actually care about the conversation. Mm -hmm. Me too. I I love that we get to do this, and it's there's just so many so many topics that people want to hear about, and so many people's minds are beginning to open, and their hearts are beginning to open, and they're beginning to realize that there's more to life than we've been led in this society and there's not a lot of places that you can go to have an open-minded hearted spiritual community and and that is why bring me to life was created so that we can create a community of people who want to talk about things and don't want to may be made f- uh, to feel like they're crazy or to to say that their truth doesn't matter um do you know spirituality has been suppressed a lot especially with religion mm-hmm. and 
even though I do believe religion has truth to it, and I think that within this Bring Me to Life community, all religions can be accepted as long as they, you know, align with the values, the core values. Um, and that's love, equality, unity, and peace. Mm. And I think those are just really solid things to to just guide us in this community. Yeah, we can be open-minded. We can be open-hearted. And all these truths can be simultaneously accepted. But by following these, we're not getting out of. Because it can get away. Some things can get away from from the initial purpose. Definitely. What I think is important to remind people is that we don't necessarily put disclaimers in every episode, but we're just speaking from our heart and our personal experience. We're not trying to be put on a soapbox or an altar or be told that we're these great teachers or anything. We're just here to share our oper- like our personal experiences our some sometimes our opinions and to create discussion and to create a space for that discussion and that growth i get so bored when i go to spaces and i i want to have these deeper discussions i want to talk mm-hmm. about past lives i want to not feel weird when i pull out my crystals i want to to be able to meditate with people that can meet with me on that level and not think it's weird that we're sitting in silence in a room together i want to create spaces and and community and inspire others to have things to talk about. Like, I think it's so cool when people are like, Oh, I listened to my pot, uh, your podcast and I shared it with a friend. And then we talked about it for a while and you had an interesting point about this, that or the other. And I'm like, wow, we're really sparking discussions. And that lights us up in having the Patreon Mm -hmm. and having the website, having social media. Yeah. The social media and stuff like people think that we're, out here and that we need validation and likes and in some ways yeah i mean it does feel good to know that people are out there listening to it and appreciating it and the likes help but mainly we just want to share the message and we want to inspire Mm. others to share their message Mm. and to follow their their mission Mm. Mm. definitely and if you go back to the the original documentary on youtube where it all started then you will see that the the main message of that was to just do what you do and to bring people together um just building a community of people who were awakening to to their own truths and things that resonated i was trying to talk about so i mean it's been it's been that 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 guidance it's been headed in that direction for a long time and it's because i was going through this stuff i was learning about life i was learning about chakras i was learning about meditation and i thought maybe there's not a lot of people like this out there because i hadn't met a lot of them and so there's a lot of people who I think are also feeling that way too. Maybe they feel alone in their beliefs and their values, but there's a community that shares all of that and we're here. And so it's good to, to be with everyone right now. Thank you for being here. Definitely. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for sharing and caring and being willing to explore reality in a different way. I think that's what we're all doing is we're just like exploring reality. It's so cool to hear Existence. people's different perspectives and to, to hold space for, for that. Uh, I think it's cool to hear the different perspectives come together with bring me to life network. Like today um, you did some recording with Sarah. You, you do monthly monthly live shows with Sarah Hall and she's got such mm-hmm. a beautiful perspective on yeah. spirituality. And then we have Breezy who is all about the high vibe humans and always going on some kind of crazy adventure. Mm-hmm. And you have the, the Seeker's Path, which shares some of your story. I'm excited for that to get re, re-amped up. Mm-hmm. Like, you've got lots of adventures to share and there's just so many yeah. beautiful opportunities with bring me to life network i'm excited to hear um 
some of some of the applications and people getting interested um to to be a part of the pillars of the bring me to life network yeah it's really cool that everybody has their own message everybody has their own way of of communicating it but the commonality becomes apparent with the core values and so that's why i think it's so important to keep bringing them up you know because each show's different but they all have a very similar uh thing so i mean what they preach about is is in alignment with love and peace and equality and unity mm. definitely I mean, Sarah's connecting with amazing angels and yeah. and holding space for a lot of healing. I like yeah. Bree- Breezy's staying staying light and not giving up the fight. Powering through, she's a, like a power up. Yeah, I like hearing Brett Marchant's perspective of different movies and just getting a spiritual perspective. Yeah, a different kind of movie critic. So many movie critics mm-hmm. are like critical like it's good to hear (laughs) like different reviews you know they just all the blah 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 they take it so intensely but brett marchant's great because he tries to at least find a uh, an important message a useful message in in all the movies that he reviews yeah cinema scribe check out the cinema scribe he's been solid part of the bring me life network for a while now yeah he has and i'm proud of him he's always communicated really well yeah, we're with the bring me to life dot com, the, the the new website, we're looking for again articles, uh spirit things that will inspire spiritual discussion. Yeah. Uh, today we, I led a meditation uh at the, the shop downtown and we, we discussed forgiveness and gratitude. Mm, and that it was, was really nice. I really like that. Great meditation. It was funny because usually everybody wants to talk um on Thursdays. That's you know, part of what they come for. But today everybody was just all cozied up. Everybody mm-hmm. was even before you said anything. Yeah, everybody everyone was, was wrapped down. up in their blankets, everyone and I was, was like, ready "Okay." To meditate, and it was kind of funny because I feel like I set the intention for the the community to just kind of hold space for healing today. Because on the way, I, I asked the angels to to guide me for what the discussion would be, and it was like, "Today we're going to talk about forgiveness," and it's like, "Okay." I like had a new book and it kept opening to the forgiveness page and I rolled with it and I felt like I was kind of channeling the meditation for things I needed to hear, but Mm -hmm. let it for the group. And like you said, everybody was cozied up. They all had like their blankies and their pillows and we didn't do a whole lot of talking today, but I felt, I felt some really healing energy. Mm -hmm. I, I really especially enjoyed the part at the near the end when you, when you had us, visualizing some of the moments that made us laugh and i thought it was great because i have i'm so blessed and i'm so thankful that i have had so many funny moments where i just laughed so hard i cried Hmm. Uh, when i was young i used to hang out with two friends a lot cord and brian and we were doing stuff that made me laugh so hard all the time but i remember this one time we were in our friend's brian his room we were in his room and he had this stool that was also a fan which was really cool so you could sit on it it would blow air um it was nice because it it was ambient for when we went to sleep but one day we were just in his room playing with a box of raisins and we realized that we could throw stuff in a little hole into the fan and it would shoot out and it would like hit somewhere in the room. (laughs) So, you know, we just kind of start experimenting to see what we can put in there. And we start putting the raisins in there and one of the raisins shoots out so fast. It's a blur. And I just look over and my friend cord is like holding his nose with his mouth dropped down to the floor so confused and surprised and he was like there's a raisin in my nose and oh my goodness. there was a raisin stuck in his nose and we laughed so hard we all cried and it's like one of those times where you you know you build up and you laugh so hard <laughs> and then 
And then you start calming down, and then one person try to you all just like try you to try hold to it stop in and, and then someone stop keeps and going and, and you like, just keep laughing ah. oh man i'm trying to yeah. think of so many times i felt like i froze up in that moment i still feel like i'm kind of freezing up but i'm like there's so many times i've laughed so hard in my life but it was hard for me in that moment to think of it but spirit wanted me to bring that up have you ever seen anybody like shoot milk out of their nose oh man i feel like i've probably done that because when i get giggling like sometimes i just keep going Mm -hmm. it's it's hard to make me laugh sometimes but when i get going i'm in it Mm -hmm. like i like to be happy Mm -hmm. and that being in that meditation and being the one to lead it it was interesting and i was glad that one of the the people participating brought it up that it was something within them too that needed to be healed because when we were younger laughter was was rare it was like not allowed and Most people like love seeing kids just be happy and giggle Mm. and be so innocent. But there were some some of us that came from interesting perspectives where it felt like we couldn't laugh. So I feel like I have a very interesting sense of humor. Yeah. I mean, I I love people with a sense of humor and it all I think it exists within everyone. It it just is buried, especially when you have role like adult role models in your life Mm -hmm. that are not allowing you to to express laughter and joy and creativity and just being a kid and you know making noises i loved making noises you know so i mean obviously i had a lot of trauma with other things but uh my family is always and i guess has always been people who have wanted to to have fun mm-hmm. your family does love to have fun they love to pick on each other and like you guys have some thick skin and i i love seeing you guys interact and how you can just like joke around and let things slide and it's it's cute i, I think there needs to be more family interaction like that and more people building each other up and just joking around mm-hmm. I, it makes me happy that you have so many moments that bring laughter and joy and uh, I think that was a very impor- important part of the meditation. I actually think it'd be really cool if we all just like took a moment and like if you're somewhere, you can close your eyes. You can even like close your eyes if you're driving. Just stay focused on the road. Do not close the eyes. But just take a breath anyway and just <sighs> give yourself a moment to think about a time that you've laughed. That you felt so happy or something just made you smile so big. Like, it's hard for me sometimes to think of maybe something that made me laugh. But there's sometimes that I can just think of just, I felt the most joy or acceptance in that's what the meditation I led earlier was all about was just feeling grateful for not just people, but places and times and experiences. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I really love it in moments where I'm just being myself and I'm talking and I don't try, I'm not trying to be funny. I just, I just say something because it's what's coming out and then everyone around laughs and the, and I'm like, yeah, that was kind of funny, and it, it just makes me feel good mm. to have that, um, and I love it when you laugh, <laughs> and so I've kind of developed an idea of what makes you laugh, and so we have a lot of good moments where we laugh. I think recently I I was, we were with a few people, and. I couldn't help but laugh. I just, I was trying to hold it in and I couldn't stop laughing. And then everyone around just started laughing for no reason. You have a giggle that brings joy to a lot of people. I've noticed that there's just some people when they laugh or whatever their mood is, like it affects everyone around them. I mean, I guess that's a lot of people, but some people just are really, they have 
just a magical energy to them that it shifts a whole room and uh, mm. you, you definitely have a giggle that'll do that i like yeah. i like seeing other people laugh too i i like seeing people adjust their humor to their friend groups or whatever not to necessarily get attention but because they know it brings people joy uh like you said you've adjusted your humor a little bit because you know what makes me laugh my pappy always told me to get a, a partner that could make me laugh because that was what was really most important about life is you want to be able to giggle and to just experience life in a different way mm-hmm. yeah i i you were saying just um you know when sometimes your mood kind of controls a room there's there's times where i can i can sink back and just kind of observe and watch other people dominate the energy of the room mm. um but then there's also times where I've just naturally been so happy and and bubbly and talky mm -hmm. that it's it's happened, um, and I've kind of noticed that, you know, just um, the energy shifts, especially in in my reality because it's my dream and my mere observation affects this reality so i mean it it makes so much sense and i don't think a lot of people realize that it's probably like that for most people if they realize that you know some some people realize that through psychedelics but some others realize it through some big event in their life an epiphany yeah i mean i've realized it by the mirror effect um i i've been certain ways and certain friendships or relationships and i'll remember having certain discussions and then i'll see it play out in other people's dynamics and realize which like player or character i kind of was in a situation if i was feeding into maybe an energy or a discussion that i shouldn't have where it's like i didn't actually like think that person was annoying or anything but because whoever's energy was dominating the conversation in that moment was gossiping or kind of talking negatively uh, th i used to really like nod and agree but i've been trying to really like catch myself more and just like change the topic rather than like agree or to talk mm -hmm. negatively about someone right you don't have to agree with everything right. someone says but There's it's so easy sometimes if somebody's dominating the conversation or if like all the peers are going and like it's so important to be that person that mm, I always feel so awkward sometimes when I disagree because I just don't do anything. I just stare at them and I, I kind of feel awkward because I don't know what to do. I'd, I mm -hmm. don't want to be like I don't want to agree with something, but I don't want <laughs> to like make them upset. So I just kind of stare and don't do any thing sometimes right i saw it was like um one of those motivational graphics that they share i don't know if you call those memes i'm always so confused anyway uh -huh. it was like a picture of a bunch of matches and it was a bunch of matches in a line but one of them was scooted down a little bit further than the others and the first like five of the matches were burnt and the one that was scooted down wasn't and the rest of them weren't and it was like the power of being able to step away and being the one person or the one energy that doesn't feed into the fire mm -hmm. that way you allow yourself to not only not be caught in the midst of it but you also give everyone a pass you permission and almost shield them from having to then agree with the the snowball mm -hmm. effect of negativity because mm -hmm. negativity is this powerful energy and somehow it has so much more weight to it than than joy and then laughter like negativity fear it's so much heavier of a frequency yeah it is a lot heavier and it's a, it's just a lower vibration on the on the scale it's you know so i mean and that's why people are feel like a big weight is lifted when they let go of some sort of shame or guilt or some trauma yeah i did okay so i did several readings today too um i i do i like to do well i don't I do like to do them, but I also <laughs> offer uh, private readings, but I like to do the the private subscriptions. But what I was so intrigued by was I was doing separate readings for different people and I kept getting the same couple cards. 
which is kind of typical in some ways. Like there's usually like a theme to people's readings. That's why I can do collective readings for people. But I thought it was so interesting that I did several for this, the shine bags and I kept pulling the same cards no matter how many times I shuffled to the point that I went and I got a different deck. I went and grabbed one of my angel decks. I was using my Oracle deck. I went and grabbed my angel deck to pull a reading for somebody Mm -hmm. and pulled almost the exact cards, but from a different deck Mm -hmm. for somebody else. And the, the message, the underlying theme was I kept pulling the throat chakra card. Mm -hmm. I kept pulling the throat chakra card for all these different people. And it was about communication. Uh, I think Sarah was talking about, yeah, she, Sarah was talking about in her show that we did today about the throat chakra. Sarah Hall? Yeah, because she was doing a assertiveness for empaths. Well, we just, as we're finishing these up, it's we're getting through a Mercury retrograde. There's probably, there's always a Mercury retrograde going on every couple months or so. So this could be relevant at any time. But typically people talk about communication being interesting um, during yeah. those times. But so we're getting out of a Mercury retrograde. And I just thought it was so intriguing how... I kept doing all these readings for all these different people all over the map. I do readings for people all over the place. And so many of them kept having these synchronicities. And I was like, this is crazy. I could have done one collective reading literally for all of them. Usually there's a couple of different themes and they could mean different things for different people. But it it just really showed how much of the collective is on one page at this time as we shift through and how important it is for us to use our voice to share our message and to tune in and some of them needed to to share messages with loved ones some of them needed to share a message in the professional world some of them just needed to share their message and figure out how to use their voice because it, it hadn't and it was so interesting to see how many different ways that that throat chakra could be closed Mm -hmm. and for some it was really open and it was it was about listening because that's also a part of the throat chakra is being willing to listen as well as communicate and to be able to express yourself freely so uh, a lot of people were having energies come up about um needing to be their their true selves and to reveal parts of themselves and to not be afraid any longer so it was really about the the ending of cycles um, so that could be all kinds of things like it, it is an ending of a cycle. We're coming to the end of 2019 as we're recording this. So wherever you are in time, thank you. Uh, but as we're recording this, the energy of this of this world is the end of a cycle. As we move into a big year, 2020 is 2020 a vision. Huge year. I just feel thinking about it. 2020. It was the almost like the future. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I mean, when I was younger, twenty twenty was the future. I mean, it is the future. Think about how far we've come since we were kids. It's ridiculous. We've got cell phones. We've got CDs. We've got we got MP3s. Apple watches. We got Apple Jet watches. Are a real thing now. Hoverboards Some countries have chips are a in real them. Thing now. Yeah, like people are doing all kinds of stuff. We've got Elon Musk changing the world with his crazy AI stuff tesla it's like the world is crazy like if we would have explained what's happening now to our younger selves like but at the same time i'm also like why can't i teleport yet why can't i manifest something to me closer at the same like time, so much is happening and yeah we could still be so much further and so much why are my cars not hovering and driving themselves if, yeah jack why, fresco why are people not in space like star trek yeah. like when uh, it, it is interesting time is so interesting the collective is so interesting but i do think it's really cool to see how many people really are on this same page of activating their throat chakra using your voices yeah. um i think that's why it was so important for me to do the forgiveness meditation today and for people to hear about how important it is to be able to forgive not forgive and forget not necessarily forgive in a way that you let them have a pass, but to forgive in a way that you understand because so much is happening that if we hold grudges, we're holding that heavier energy and we're not allowing ourselves to move forward. And we have to release, release expectation, release fear of the new beginning and forgive people for different things that have happened, choices that have been made. 
in situations so that we can stop holding those grudges and focusing on the past and instead focus on the future mm-hmm. and the things that we could be doing together. There's I've, been a lot of uh, like past things that I have have to forgive myself for that have been coming up. So meditation yeah. was, was so so good. Forgiving ourselves is important, but imagine imagine what level of a world we would be on if people could one forgive themselves and instead of focusing on the past and their regrets focus on the future and their dreams imagine a world we would be in if people that were business partners could work together and continue to share ideas without feeling unheard or feeling like they're not being able to discuss things because of competition or something like I'm, i feel like so many people are afraid of competition and afraid of putting themselves out there due to judgment and different things like that so if we can just forgive each other for judgment and fear and allow each other to just grow and be our beautiful selves and even like our weird selves like it's there's been this like get weird movement happening too mm. in like spiritual communities like allowing yourself to stop feeling weird about who you are like talk about your experiences and like at the same time respect people's boundaries some people don't want to think about it they're happier not expanding that knowing because maybe it brings them negative thoughts and again we don't want that we just want to hold space for people to experience whatever it is they need to experience to learn a lesson yeah i i you said a whole, a whole lot there. I had so many things that kept popping into my mind, and you're just on a roll. So I was like, right. <laughs> "I'm sorry." Sometimes I, I go on tangents. It's like, yeah. um, okay, yeah. I'll wait. I'll wait to the to the next break. Uh, I don't know when that's coming, but <laughs> I'll have something to say. <laughs> okay, so what are you gonna say? What are you doing about now? Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, there's, uh, uh, well, I mean, you, you kept saying these people are all uh, have the same card reading, and 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 <laughs> that's that's because we're all connected, and that's why we have one of the core values as unity, because in this world we're all connected. Everything is connected. Mm. One thing you do in this world vibrates sends a ripple and affects everything else in this universe Mm -hmm. everything is connected so unity so those people are all going through that i feel like we are going through that and that's why we're doing these 22 episodes we should have one more after this and then there's going to be three exclusively on patreon Check Adding out the up to Patreon. Patreon's awesome. I'm excited. Uh, it, it's also exciting to have people that are willing to donate. So we're just really grateful for you. We've been getting Whoa. donations for card Whoa. readings. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sarah Hall does card readings during her, her live shows, and she'll mm-hmm. uh, move people to the front for their donations towards yeah. the network so that we can keep improving mm-hmm. the network. Yeah, it's going to help a lot. Um, and yeah, just getting... Cause there's certain things that we would like to do. So hopefully we can build it up. And either way, I'm just like, I feel really good about this. And I feel really good about this podcast. And, you know, I'm excited. Well, I was going to say before we went off on a tangent that uh, I'm excited to get these 22 episodes on the interwebs. Um, and we can also start, you know, interviewing other people. Uh, on the podcasts that have expressed interest in in getting their voices we're going to interview other people uh we have some some new show ideas coming out again awakening with the girls is getting a revamp we're going to be interviewing more females asking other females what it's been like for them to go through with their awakening i had a couple new things coming on my shine on my shin and i'm excited about I feel like I need to to give a shout out to Cacao because that's why I'm so hype and in this like tangent mode of all the good good vibes. Mm, yum 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 yum. It's perfect, especially during 
uh, cold days. Yeah, it's been like a nice warm. So fun fact about me, I used to really not be able to like or handle hot drinks at all. Mm-hmm. Like my body didn't enjoy them. Not and even room temperature. Yeah, I still don't really like hot drinks, but I enjoy tea, like hot tea, and I just kind of like let it get room temperature. And cacao has been a game changer. I, it used to taste really bitter, but mixing it with a little bit of honey, a little bit of cinnamon, which I also used to not be able to do anything cinnamon. Like cinnamon used to make me break out and freak out. Mm-hmm. But it's been, it's it's so cool how our bodies adjust to things that are good for us as we go through our, our transitions and life shifts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Cacao has been like, I used to drink so much iced coffee and like I never had hot coffee because the hot coffee, I didn't do hot drinks, but the iced coffee and it's so sugary and it was so bad for me. But finding cacao has been been mm-hmm. really awesome. And I, I also really like hot chocolate, but would let it get like cold room temperature. Mm-hmm. But cacao just makes you feel so warm and fuzzy. It does. It, it feels great. Um, so we do have another episode that we'll have to record here. And so you should write in your notes that you talked about cacao Mm -hmm. and how good it was. And yeah, so we do have one more episode that we're going to release with our, we're just releasing 22 all at once. 22 all for you. I hope you go back to the first episode of season six. Yeah. Listen to all these episodes. It's Let us know what you tw- think. One twenty nine for anybody wow. listening on uh, iTunes, iHeartRadio, stuff like that. Episode one twenty nine of the Bring Me to Life podcast starts the season six unfiltered, where yeah. we just kind of share all kinds of stuff, and we're going to keep them going. We're not just going to release one more. We're hoping to keep these going, right? Just for this spurt of you know twenty two episodes. You know, if you listen to all of them and you kind of binge watch us, we're not trying to build our ego, but it does help us move up in the the, the algorithms, huh? yeah, and the ratings, iTunes. That's why we wanted to release a whole bunch at once. Help us, help us reach the the interwebs, the communities, the the internet galaxy timeline where people listen to lots of things and it gets moved up. Yeah, and just keep doing you if you like and resonate with what we have been sharing. Please continue to to tune in and share your thoughts with us because we'd love to hear from you. Definitely. So tune in to Bring Me to Life with the number two, bringmetolife.com. Check us out on Patreon. YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, communicate. We have the Bring Me to Life Challenge Facebook group. So all that cool stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bring me to life dot com. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Bye. For many of us, spirituality is just the the quest to find essence or true meaning and to really just connect with a higher consciousness. Connecting with your spirituality is very important in this life. By becoming mindful of all of it, you can realize where you are and if that is leading you to where you want to go. Listen to the little simple things because it's those little simple things that are going to shift you vibrationally in such a way that will prepare you to become very intuitively minded and ready to step forward on the next part of your path. I hope you can feel the love that's inside you, that's inside me, that connects us. Thanks for shining on with us.